What happened? Show me the tray. That's the screw that I just pulled out of your patient. It was stabbing her heart, slicing into cardiac muscle. Every time the heart tried to beat, this thing looks like a hamburger meat right about now. Oh, God. You want to tell me how this happened? I'm in the middle of the surgery. No, here's what you're in the middle of. The surgery on Laura Lewis where I supervised you inserting pedicle screws in a plate to stabilize T6 to T8. Yeah. One of them stabbing her in the heart. She's half dead. And we're about to go tell her husband. Apparently one of the screws we placed in her spine came loose. Uh, it could be that the bone isn't strong enough to hold the screw. But at this point, we don't know. Okay, and so what? It just, um, and so the screw, it, it cut into her heart? Dr. Altman's repairing her heart right now, and she's an incredible surgeon. But uh, we won't know for a while exactly what the situation is. The situation? I, I, I don't understand. Where's my mama? Oh, buddy. Come here. Find all the films pre-op, post-op. You go for every inch of every image. And assuming she survives, you get a CT to check the hardware and run a bone density test so we can get a clue as to what the hell went wrong. Oh, I, uh, so sorry. I, I have to go, Dr. Torres. I'm sorry. What? Avery put pedicle screws in a woman's spine this week, and one of them turned out to be tearing holes in her left ventricle. Whoa. I can't, I, I, I can't even breathe right now. Yeah, I can't. Well, come on, it's part of the deal. We have to let students operate. They don't always get it right. I was reading a magazine. Hey, come on. And don't beat yourself up. We all do it. I know what J-Lo wore to the coffee house. That's what I was doing. Shh. 